had sort of, um, had made contact, I think, like, with maybe maybe our manager at the time or something like that, and, and she was like, oh, I can get you cheap hotels through this one hotel chain, and um, do you want that? And we said yes, and then, so as a, as a, like, we would sometimes see her around and we would hang out with her, and anyways, we saw her in Washington, and she was able to get us a really cheap room at, I think it was a Sheraton or something, and so we went back to the rooms and, um, I'm not gonna say like how she got these free hotel rooms because it was like th sort of a bit of a scam and so I mean not a scam like illegal like jail time just probably her employer wouldn't have been impressed about it but anyway so we went to back to the Sheraton and she said everything in the mini bar is on me and <laughs> so we drank out of the mini bar and uh, and the last thing that I remember I got my own room that night which was like really random at that time in our career and. I remember being so excited to have my own room, and the last thing I remember is not being in my room. And then when I woke up, I was fully clothed on top of my bed in my room, but I was like, it was time to get up. And I was like, that sucks. Like, I didn't even enjoy being in my room. I don't even know how I got in my room. And I didn't even get in my bed officially. I just sort of was laid on top of it. And so, anyways, it was an early morning. We were driving somewhere, so we were leaving Washington, and we were in this area, actually, sort of. And, I mean, close to the White House, and I remember I was sick. I was like, I was hungover, and I needed to throw up. And I was like, to um, well, our sound guy Chris was also our tour manager, and he was driving the van. And I was like, we gotta pull over, like now, ASAP. Ten minutes ago, like now. And we stopped at a McDonald's, and I went into the McDonald's, and um, well, it was not a good McDonald's to go into, and there was some terrifying things happening in the bathroom, like. Well, there wasn't even a toilet that was working. They were like all covered in plastic with like yellow police tape, and I like was like, oh my god! And so I like ran out of the bathroom, and Chris was ordering like a sausage McMuffin, and I was like, we have to get out of here. I did not get to puke because of the bathroom. I mean, there's like been a murder or something. And so I was like, get out of here now. And so. We like got into the we got into the van and everyone that was in the van was like I think there was like a drug deal happening out front with some guy involving Colgate boxes with drugs in it. And anyways, we were terrified. We're like nice friendly Canadians with a hangover. We're just like what in the hell? And then and then we drove to another McDonald's really close by. And I went in there and it was actually really sad. There was like a mom and a kid, but the mom was like smoking crack or something and it was like terrifying. But I just had to go to the bathroom and I just like knocked on the door. I was just like, please, please, God, just let me use the bathroom. And so she was like, she felt bad for me because I was like really aggressively um, emptying my stomach in the bathroom. And I think she maybe thought that I was smoking crack. Or and um, anyways, I just always think of that when I'm here.